Welcome back, everybody, to Packers Franchise. Today, we have to take on some very difficult players. Going to have Max Crosby on one side, Devontae Adams on the other. Not looking forward to it. We've actually been able to get away with not having to play very elite players. Alvin Kamara wasn't in for the Saints. The Lions don't really have anybody besides Amon Ross St. Brown. And I think our team neutralizes him for the most part. But this is going to be a very tough matchup, and I don't want to be frustrated. I can tell I'm going to be. I, just, I have to come into this with an open mindset. Last week, we were able to run the ball extremely well, still through five interceptions. So uh, first things first, going to start off by looking at Rashawn Gary and what he's asking for. 89 overall, 25 out of Michigan, clearly going to give him a big deal. Uh, his cap hit on this would go from 16 mil to 21 mil over five years. I like this overall. We'd be paying him, you know, it, it would kind of take up a lot of our cap room, but Rashawn Gary is a great player. He uh, doesn't like the big, the lack of big market, even though Green Bay is one of the most blue blood franchises in the NFL, but I think maybe 7.5 and 10.5. This could be a little bit, saves about a mil. Uh, it's a great deal. He's just not ready to say yes right now. Okay. So we lowballed him a little bit. We don't want to have to, you know, freaking... Uh, give him a franchise tag. So I just figured I'd give him a little bit of a low shot. I want to bring him back. Clearly, he's one of the best players on the team. A couple players I had in mind. There was a wide receiver, D. Brown out of Penn State. He looked pretty good. T. Gardner, though, might be better. T. Gardner out of Ohio State, 6'5", 233. Decent to solid acceleration, decent to solid agility, good to great change of direction, great jumping, good to great speed, good to great to elite strength. So very athletic freak. Not great uh, moving around, but he, we are one of his top fits. His release is an A. He needs to work on simple concentration drops, excels in body control on the sideline, fights for every inch as a rusher, no issue climbing the ladder, make tough catches, avoids big hits, excels at creating yards after the catch, and shows good discipline and won't get flagged much. So T. Gardner is definitely somebody that I am very interested in. Braden Horn out of Stanford and Dorian Main out of Michigan are your two top quarterback prospects here as we are scouting quarterbacks we are not out of the quarterback market by any means texas a&m's jeremy wall is another option a little bit later in the draft as his top fits are a couple afc south teams as he is a right-handed quarterback with beautiful spirals uh, elongated motion quick release does well to avoid sacks and he's got a good deep accuracy how do you see you can't see his archetype until he's scouted higher i suppose great to elite strength great to elite throw power and uh, poor to marginal speed. So a little bit of a strong arm pocket style quarterback, if you will. He's 6'6", six, six, about 230. So that is a couple of prospects to be looking out for. A couple of quarterbacks, a couple wide receivers, as we could definitely stand to improve in the wide receiver room. We have a lot of young de developmental players that are unproven. Players that actually can do shit aside from projecting. Because Jaden Reed's had a couple good games, probably going to choose to defend the outside run. He's a 96 overall with a wrecking ball. Not looking forward to that. And then they also have Devontae Adams too. And on the defensive side, despite the Raiders not being a great overall team, they've got a lot of very talented players. So running the ball to the outside, I think is going to be the strategy. Trying to get around Chandler Jones as he's getting older in age. Maybe we can actually take advantage of the edge. Trying to develop Christian Watson into being a number one weapon. But it's a little bit difficult because we can't really stretch the field out much. Jordan Love is not super accurate, and I also am not very good at making reads, clearly. So that makes it difficult. Everyone stays healthy. So again, we cannot blame health on why we are not able to put up uh, wins, but really we are falling apart in the second half. I think we are starting to press, and it's causing us to, I don't know, force shit down the, down the middle of the field. It's just I go to run the ball, and I like the looks I'm getting on defense, so I start making throws, and as soon as I do that, I throw the ball away. And the Ravens trying to offer us another deal. Don't want it, even though he's not really playing much, and Aaron Jones has definitely solidified himself as our number one weapon on offense. I'd rather just keep A.J. Dillon around as a backup. You never know who is going to get injured, as they have three X-Factors at least. Maybe they have more. Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Aaron Jones had himself a game last week. 148 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Jimmy G and the Raiders getting ready to suit up here. Josh Jacobs going to be an issue for sure. A lot of players I'm not looking forward to play against in this one. As I know how overpowered X-Factors can be, Madden has, you know, this thing where they like to make good players feel very good. And they do that in a number of ways. 
But we are going to be kicking this ball off to start here. Andreas Carlson, formerly known as Daniel, to boot this one deep. It's the Raiders. It's the Packers here in the black hole or whatever they call it. As Jimmy G taking the field here, we've played a couple of mid quarterbacks. We played Derek Carr, Jared Goff, and Jimmy G. I would say they're all mid, mid as hell. Through this season, he has four touchdowns, three picks. Jordan Love could have that in one game and then add on top of that 20 interceptions. It's a run, and we stuff it in the backfield. Josh Jacobs for a three-yard loss. Quay Walker blitzing, getting there in the backfield. I I'm all over this. I'm all over it. Devontae Adams finds the soft spot between Preston Smith and Rasul Douglas. Of course he does because you're in a soft spot between Preston Smith and Rasul Douglas in coverage. And I already can see a huge issue. I have to go to zone now because... Yep, I mean, that's my zone, I suppose. As Hunter Renfro sits down in the soft spot again. Jimmy G dissecting our defense early. And it's what I had to do last time, which is change the cornerback matchup to by overall. Because Devontae Adams is going to get put in the fucking... He's going to get put in the slot. And next thing you know, he's going to be wide open against Eric Stokes. So we've got to make sure we do that. They're going to the flat quickly. And it's a three-yard game to Michael Mayer, the rookie out of Notre Dame, who I thought the Packers might have a chance at. And he had a, a decent outing last week as I'm going to try to face guard him. And they're running it. Josh Jacobs has nowhere to go and so far averaging about minus three yards per carry. Guard the sticks, guard over the top. Get to Jimmy G. It's a play action. I'm not falling for it. Get there, Rashawn. Force the ball out of bounds. Oh my God. They almost, I mean, it was out of bounds. It is what it is. But we are actually able to cause some pressure here and force them to kick a long, long field goal from the logo. Devontae Wyatt trying to get there. And they push it wide right. We set up with beautiful field position as, uh, who, who is their kicker? Wait, 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 wait. Who is their kicker? Is Andreas Carlson not Daniel Carlson? Are those two different players? Do they have Daniel Carlson? Am I, am I just like lumping them together? They look exactly the same. Are they not? Have I been calling Andreas Carlson, Daniel Carlson this entire time? They're not the same person. My apologies. I just made that reference in this game like a few minutes ago. So never mind. Get Luke Musgrave on this side. Let's go ahead and get him to block. Running outside is our focus. So we better have some good blocks here. Looks like we got some good ones so far. The screen's a little bit laggy. Aaron Jones forcing some missed tackles and he is continuing where he left off last week. Do we set up for a pass early? I think we do. We just have to be smart here. Nothing's getting open. Throw the ball away. Okay. Wasted wasted a play potentially. There's a chance. We got our left tackle. Star left tackle on there. Star rush end. Aaron Jones finds the edge. Jukes back inside. He's going to get another first down. I guess at this point Aaron Jones is saying, dude, I'm averaging 12 yards per carry. Please don't pass the ball. How do I double team this guy? That's what I really want to do. Does that work on run plays or only passes? We're going to find out. Looks like we contain the edge. Aaron Jones tries to get there. It was decent blocking, but there was one pesky little defender that got in our way. Nandamakin Sue also on the Raiders. He got to just hang up those cleats eventually. You know, I, I don't really know what, what he's holding on to at this point. Jaden reads the read. Nothing, nothing there. Jordan Love scrambling up. Get there, just sliding for it. Third and four, and I like this weak box. At most, they have a even amount of defenders in the box, but it doesn't even look like it. Aaron Jones, get there. Four rushes, almost 30 yards. Ndamukong Sue is surfing on Aaron Jones, and then Aaron Jones is dick punch number one. Maybe we go back to this play again. We just ran it. Maybe man coverage. Doesn't look like it. Rolling out. Over the top! Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's just stupid. What the fuck is going on? Uh, let's see what we can do here. A man coverage beater for sure. In the flat. Get there, Josiah DeGuara. In a contract year, show me what you got. If you're good for a four-yard gain, we like it. Is that Isaiah Simmons? Isaiah, Isaiah Simmons did just get traded, but it wasn't to the Raiders. As the bell tolls, which means it's another third down, and it means it's another rush for us. Let's try to maybe draw them off sides. Can we draw them off sides? It's not working. Okay. 
And Andreas Carlson puts it right down the middle. Rookie kicker. That is not Daniel Carlson. And we strike first here in Las Vegas. Jimmy G getting out there. Ready to do something. The offense trying to torment me any way they can. Probably a run or at least a play action. I'm just trying to get to the outside. Contain him. We wrapped him up. We're going a little zone blitz. I'm trying to guard. I'm trying to make him make a, a bad decision. And we wrap up at the very least. It's third and medium now. I don't, I don't even know what my what my read is. We got the blitz anyway. It doesn't even matter. Quay Walker. I was trying to go back to a cover two. I liked the idea of playing this hard flats when they needed a little bit of yards to gain. And instead, we keep the blitz because they wouldn't let me switch. And the linebackers get there. Forcing another punt or another, I suppose, just give up by the Raiders offense. As Bo Melton has one man to beat. Can he get there? He does! Bo Melton is the fucking best! He is a goddamn cheat code. Human joystick. Move over, Dante Hall. Move over, Devin Hester. Bo Melton is a fucking beast. And he has returned himself his first punt. And that has to be a literal ballot. First, first ballot, lock him in for the Pro Bowl. Lock him in for a dev upgrade. Before we had this guy, Nixon. I don't know who the Nixon guy was, but he wasn't great. And I decided to switch because I just wanted somebody a little bit faster. And I'll be damned if that wasn't the best decision I've made. As I'm talking about my punt returner for literally two minutes straight. That's why I couldn't switch plays. I was trying to switch plays using the wrong button. Cover the sticks. I'm guarding. Oh, it's a screen. Get over there. I'm getting over there. Devondre Campbell. L wrap him up. Rasul. Rashawn Gary. Bring the heat. Get there. Oh my god, we caused a huge overthrow by Jimmy G. And it is now fourth and five. Another force punt as the Raiders cannot really find anything. They keep running the ball, not finding success. Then they keep trying to go for checkdowns because Jimmy G's very conservative. They definitely he definitely has the conservative uh passing. As Bo Melton almost finds the edge there. Now the offense has to come out. Ugh, we hate when the offense has to come out. It is what it is, though. Aaron Jones having himself quite the season after that last matchup. And uh, I think the, the defense is tempting me to want to pass the ball. But I'm not going to. Instead, we're going to run the ball with Aaron Jones. Max Crosby's out. Oh, my pancreas. God, my pancreas is injured. Get the fuck out of here, Max. Get out of here. Cut it up inside. Aaron Jones just splits between two players. And I didn't check, but I bet you Aaron Jones probably got player of the week. I think maybe it will show you in the HUD if he if he did. Aaron Jones finds the edge. Unfortunately, there was a, a player on the edge. I don't know what the draw plays are like in this game, so I'm tempted to play one as the first quarter is over. We are up 10 to nothing. And look at the rushing yards. Huge difference here on Monday Night Primetime. Now, they're not really doing anything about what I'm seeing on this left side. There's no way they guard all these players, right? Oh my god. At least it wasn't a pick. I probably should have scrambled out. I threw it probably a second too late. I saw the wide open gap here. Luckily, the offense holds up great. As soon as he blocks, he blocks sheds inside, I go out. So great read on that. Probably should have kept working and then threw it to the flat. But I threw it. I, I got to throw it here. Or I just got to scramble up and get the first down. Because now we're in a spot. 10 nothing at midfield. This is where I make a decision that could cost me. It looks like man coverage, which means this play should get open. Christian Watson underneath. He keeps following it all the way, and he gets open on fourth and four. Jordan Love dissects the defense. Jordan Love being me, because that's I'm the guy playing the game. And uh, and Luke, Luke Musgrave scratching his ass. And he follows the route all the way. And makes a play. Aaron Jones to the outside again. Outside rushes have been insane. He's averaging almost six yards per carry. The offense is buzzing. I'm buzzing because I'm happy just to be out here. Is this a play where we actually make a make a decision to pass the ball? I think I like this. Oh my god, we got a lot of time. B was wide open. Just go down the field. Jordan Love, get out of bounds. And we can cut this right up the middle. We can cut this right up the middle. Get a good block. Aaron Jones putting his foot in the ground. I'm starting to figure out the blocks a little bit. The blocks have been nice. But really what it is is they keep giving us these weak boxes. And we keep just taking advantage of it. Aaron Jones getting pushed forward for like eight yards. 
Going back to the hurry up. Their defense is all out of position. Get up there. Okay, didn't really work. Halfback base just takes so long to get open. This is another one where I don't really know if they're playing man or zone. Looks like zone. I'm scrambling up, trying to get there. X was open in the back of the end zone. Coming down here and not being able to put a touchdown on the board is very frustrating, to say the least. Can we identify whether this is man or zone? It appears to be zone coverage. I think I like Jaden Reed here. Jordan Love scrambling up. Get there. What? What? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fourth and whatever, I scramble up the yard markers right there because I'm giving myself up so he doesn't dive. He fucking stops. Are you kidding me, man? Are, 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 are we sure? We didn't get the conversion on the beautiful scramble. Can I challenge this? I can't even, there's nothing to challenge. That's frustrating. That's so frustrating. Josh Jacobs doing something. Get there. Get there. Thank you. We have to get there, guys. Oh my god, we forced him to just throw it insanely out of bounds. Forcing a punt and the five-yard line. We're gonna have great field position. Man, I cannot believe we couldn't convert on that fourth down. Hey, no, no sense in crying over spilled milk. We moved the ball well in this first half. Let's continue to run the ball. Let's continue to play our brand of football. As we have some lag. Romeo Dobbs, inside zone has to be the look. Aaron Jones just diving for the first down. That's what I wanted Jordan Love to do. All right, that's the last reference on the fourth down. But diving forward on third down, puts his ball over the top. Romeo Dobbs on a wheel route. I don't really know. I don't really know what routes get open. I don't really know what's going on. We have a lot of time. We have a lot of time. Jordan Love scrambling out, gets out of bounds. As whenever I come out in this in this play. I always want to look to Jaden Reed on that outside pass, but it's never open. They're always in his zone. We've got a bench look here. Christian Watson on the outside. Uh, nothing really getting open. Can we can we scramble for this again? Jordan Love, you got a block. Late hit, yes. Give me that. We'll take the scramble and then a little extra. Isaiah Simmons, the newly acquired Isaiah Simmons, costing the Raiders as we get down from the six to the three. We're running it right at him. Get in there. Aaron Jones is the cheat code. He is the absolute cheat code. We are up 17-0 against this Raiders team. We have not passed the ball much at all in this game, and it is benefiting us greatly. They're definitely going to be trying to score before this first, uh, first half is over. So expecting them to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, don't be doing that. Definitely a play action. I'm trying to get there. Rasul Douglas got him by the ankles. Thank God. That could have been way worse. Michael Mayer. I knew it was a play action. Just Josh Jacobs picked up the block. And and honestly, it's a great it's a great route by everyone. It's a good offensive play for the Raiders. And I can give praise where, where praise is due when we're actually winning. It's a lot harder to do when I'm just getting my back blown out. Quay Walker. Josh Jacobs on the outside. Javondre Campbell wraps him up. If Josh Jacobs is, is not blocking... Get around, turn around. Rasul Douglas, Michael Mayer on the ground. Go, Rasul. Go, go, go. We have a chance to put up more points. Brought the heat. They picked it up pretty well. Jimmy G's not pressured. Whatever's going on here is this Rudy Ford. He's coming crashing down as Michael Mayer sprinting past him. And instead, he throws it to uh, a pretty pretty much a wash. Could Jacoby Myers versus Rasul Douglas. And Rasul just turns around as the pass to Michael Mayer. Michael Mayer is diving for it. Home team has have, is having trouble catching now. It's nice to be on the opposite side and score before the end of this first half's over. Big pancakes by 74. We're still up on our feet. We're passing the ball again here. Jordan Love scrambling up, getting hit. Right, they're in zone. Then this has to be the play. We're going to send him back over. We've, the clock has stopped. So we got all the time in the world. Snap this ball. Get it to Aaron Jones. On the screen, we've got a lot of blockers here. God damn it. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Knew that was going to happen. We had the chance to get past him if we could just get inside. And of course we can't. Lucas Van Ness sprinting super fast. Lay a big hit. Oh my God. It's a huge hit. Huge hit by Luke Van Ness. He might have saw his la life flash before his eyes. Now we are down 30 yard line. Glad I punted it away. 
And Jaden Reed. Okay, there's the there's the interception. Right, there's the interception. I liked I liked what I was seeing. Can we at least stop them from scoring? Thank you. I'm thinking cover three. I love when I see this. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. There's a big solid gap here. I'm leading this to the inside. Uh, the ball is somewhat led inside, but just gets undercut. It just gets undercut by the cornerback. It's a good play. I don't think it's that bad of a read. I've made way worse reads before. We had a chance to put up more points, but it's okay. So hopefully they don't score. Darnell Savage forcing them to make a quick pass. It hits Michael H Mayer in the face. Bo Melton with a chance to do something great. And that is probably going to take us into the first half. Nice blocks. Give me a block. Give me a block. That's that's my frustration. I'm calling a timeout. Got the seal. We've got the block. And unfortunately, just can't get around the final edge. But I'm liking this, though. We got a nice seal here. Aaron Jones gets the outside. Call my last timeout. We're just having success running the ball. So I'm thinking maybe we could break a big one. There's a chance. There's a chance if they overcommit like this. We have a chance to do something big here. It's just mainly stat padding. I'm, if we could get out of bounds, maybe. You know, but hey, we got the momentum here. They are going to have trouble catching it going into the second half. As that takes us into the second half. Your Green Bay Packers up by 17 points. Their offense has been awful. We have not passed the ball, and it has worked beautifully. As Aaron Jones continuing to bolster up. And he's looking buff, too. He's continuing to bolster up his stats on the season so far. And what do I always do? Right now, am I in a run or a pass? I'm in a pass. I always want to pass the ball on the first play of the half. Is it a good idea? Throw the ball away. Some blocks on this play could be nice. Luke Musgrave sneaking over. Maybe this will be it. We're going to run right at Chandler Jones. He's being doubled. Aaron Jones, very shifty. Makes up some yards back. It's now going to be third and manageable here. Play action drag wheel. This is the same play I just tried to run. This got to get open eventually, right? Jaden Reed, just set your feet. Turn around. Okay. That's fine. Jordan Love, like, I don't really know what his what he was doing. I was trying to set my feet. It didn't really work. And now A.J. Dillon checking in for the first time today. Big power run to the left side. Give me some blocks. Eh, it's probably could have cut that inside. It's not great. Do I like that? Absolutely not. Bo Melton could take the top off here. It's looking like, man, I'm getting sacked instantly. My eyes were completely downfield. So this is more for my, my own sanity. Uh, s 68 67 gets off a double team so i can't blame him but just doesn't even do any just put your hand out do something third quarter is usually where we where we lose it here make a play on the ball nope hey like clockwork he beat him in a contested catch is really what it was just a great catch by the receiver let's not let this be an easy drive for them to go down and score let's at least make this one difficult if they do score, so be it. Quay Walker getting over there. We stuffed it instantly. Josh Jacobs still averaging negative yards per carry. Bring the heat. Devondre Campbell in the gap. Up the A-gap. And I just cannot get to the quarterback. And he makes a good read and delivers it to the tight end. It's it's a pitch. Get to the outside. Devondre Campbell over pursued. That's my fault. Well, we did make them fight for it, I will say. But nevertheless, the uh, momentum is back even. Even though we're up 10 points, I, I think a drive here where we go down the field and score gives us enough confidence to say, we got this one in the bag. And I'm running into a couple of safeties. I think the cut has got to be the move here. I'm just running into a bunch of players. Christian Watson, potentially. Aaron Jones in open, open field. Make a move. Make someone miss. Two very conservative plays right away. What is going on? What is going on over there? The bell tolls, third down. Jaden Reed in motion, identifying the man coverage. Can we switch to like a slant or a stick? We go to the slant. Can we snap this ball in time? We do. Luke Musgrave drops the ball. Okay, big punt. Let's let's force him. Let's force him to at least drive down the field again. Show us that wasn't a fluke. Josh Jacobs having himself a day so far, a touchdown. Got to get to the outside. Rasul Douglas clearly is the issue. Uh, Jacoby Myers feasting. That's going to be a run. Quay Walker, fill the gap. 
Just a nifty move by Josh Jacobs. Don't push him forward, please. It's a play action. Get there. I'm getting pushed. Turn around. Okay. Think the ball was supposed to go to Michael Mayer. Luckily, we got out of that unharmed. Clay Walker, I'm covering it. Covering it. All right. Could Jair Alexander, he throws it right to him. This could be a house call. He's got one man in beat. He's got one man in beat. Jair Alexander. No way. He pulls his hamstring. No, he doesn't. Hits the stanky leg, hops into the end zone. It's a pick six for Jair and the Packers defense. Getting bumped up is Devontae Adams, Hunter. No, not Hunter Renfro. It's uh, Michael Mayer out of reach for that reception. Can't even bat it away. And the defense coming up big. Offense says, you know what? We don't have to do shit if you guys play well. Special teams and defense. That's the MO for the Packers here in week five. Owens is in there. Rashawn Gary getting pushed around. They're not running up the middle. Get to the outside. Josh Jacobs having to cut it back in. Preston Smith holding the outside, doing a nice job on that. Oh, God. Make a play. Russell Douglas. Let's go. We only rush three. And J Jimmy Garoppolo throws another interception. His third one on the day. A.J. Dillon. Just do something. I, I'm trying to... I, I know the the blocks are forming. It's my fault. It is what it is. Maybe uh, run up the gut. Slide down. Okay. Jordan Love. 77 rushing yards for Jordan Love. As the Packers have quadrupled down on, on the run here in the third quarter. As we have 44 seconds left in the game. In the third quarter, I should say. Aaron Jones. One man to beat. Jukes inside. Gets the first down. Another impressive performance here in week five against Los Raiders. The only way to lose this matchup would be a, a, an all-time throwaway. Jaden Reed, I'm looking that way. Inside, outside. They bail out of it. Oh, they got pressure up the middle. Doesn't matter. Jordan Love scrambling out. Finds the first down. As soon as Max Crosby swam inside, I took it right out. Christian Watson underneath. Show the speed. Another 10-yard gain. I like Christian Watson here. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. The safety rolls over. He doesn't. Uh, Christian Watson's not really open. Uh, B is kind of open, but Jordan Love falls down. Jordan Love close to 100 rushing yards on the day. As A.J. Dillon bowls over a defender. And I'm, I'm hurry-up offensing it here. Go and stretch the outside. A.J. Dillon find the edge. Make the cut. Push your way forward. Jordan Love's loving this. He's like, I don't have to fucking throw the ball to the other team. I can just sit here and hand the ball off all day. Yes, you can. In fact, we would prefer that. We got another tackle in at tight end. I think we got this one. Get the block. Beautiful stuff. A.J. Dillon showboating like NFL Street. And he's got something to say to the ref. He's asking for her number. She's a little creeped out. She didn't like it. We got some players in the zone here. Jair is locked in. Owens on Michael Mayer. I, of course, am covering the running back. And uh, Jair in the zone. Just as I say that, one play, one play is all you need. Devontae Adams cooks Jair Alexander in man coverage. Do we have a safety over the top? We were in cover two. Oh my fucking God. What is this disgusting display? Uh, my, my players got bunched into each other. Jair doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Safety is me, I suppose. Took an awful pursuit angle. I don't imagine they would run the ball here. Instead, they're throwing it to Devontae Adams, who's getting bunched up. Again, my guy. It's, so again, my my person I need to cover. They're not going to let me get out of this one easily. As we have a punt return touchdown, we've got a pick six. We've ran the ball for 200 yards, and we might not. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. it it's just Let's just say the game's not over yet. Aaron Jones is here to put the nail in the coffin, though. Definitely going to bail out. It's probably a cover three. I don't really know what to attack or where to attack. Oh, we got a little... Ah, fuck. Just bad. No idea what this play is. I've never played it. Never done it before. It might be good. It's like a pitch. And Aaron Jones trying to get to the edge. Just gets back to the line of scrimmage. We need to convert here on this play. Jaden Reed. Gonna hopefully run this to the sticks. Makes a move. Jaden Reed wide open over the, over the sideline there. Converting on third and ten. That is Jordan Love's 
Best throw of the day, I would say, today. This could be a nice play as well. Christian Watson, a speedster. Christian Watson, a speedster. Nope. The running back might take the linebacker out of here. Let's do a little swing. And he does. Christian Watson getting double teamed. Jordan Love fighting. Gets destroyed by Indomitian Sue. Obviously got to identify. Man or zone. It's looking like man coverage. Which means I don't want to run this play. Something deep here. It's not man coverage. It's zone. It's an awful throw by, J by Jordan Love. We had a wide open Jaden Reed in the seam. Five minutes left in this game. They need to go down the field and score twice with two two-point conversions. It's very unlikely. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. Especially if we play up, play over the top, bring the heat. They're doing a draw. I'm all over it. Uh, bring some heat, maybe. Lucas Van Ness. Lucas Van Ness! They just ran too far down the field for uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's little noodle arm. And he didn't make a decision early, which means he's not going to get to make a decision at all. That is going to put them very, very deep here. Devontae Wyatt getting back there. They're doing a screen. Just lock him up. Let's play the sticks. Cover four. I'm playing in the middle of the field here. Just don't throw the ball at me. The check down's open. I'm just going to come back down. Somebody get there. Rasul Douglas. Play it. Thank you. Bat the ball down. We don't need another interception. We've already got three of them on the day. It's time to put a little bit of dirt in their wounds. Spear us forward. That's fine. It's going to get open. It's going to get open. Jade Reed can't make the catch. Probably should have waited a little bit longer. I'm growing up the gut. I'm diving for it. We're getting pushed forward. Keep push. Oh, Jordan Love. Jordan Love in the fetal. It was just, he was just fucking around. He's good. Aaron Jones here. Handing it off. Up the gut. Give me a block. Handing it off. Aaron Jones. Another touchdown. Figure out the run game. Everything else is soon to follow suit. I am feeling so good right now. The amount of times I've made terrible reads when we just don't throw the ball. I'm, I'm throwing the ball a little bit. Just a smidge. Just enough to get what I need. I've converted on a couple third downs. But really, the defense playing great. The run game is locking in. Devondre Campbell. Kind of maybe they're doing a little bit of motion here. It's a screen. I'm all over it. Just wrap him up. Okay. Rudy Ford locks down Devontae Adams, who gets open. Oh, yeah. DB Sting. Pressure coming around the edge. We're looping. We're going to keep bringing heat. It's a little bit delayed. Oh, yeah. You better throw that away. Jimmy G does not have enough time to make a decision when the pressure rolls in like that. And I'm going up the A-gap again. Falling forward. At least we caused a little bit of, a little bit of mayhem. And I'm trying to guard the running back here. We're all over it. Rasul Douglas finally showing some life. Devondre Campbell looping. And yet, yeah, Rasul Douglas gets burnt. That's fine. It happens when you press. You give that up sometimes. I think I, I did press, but I always play over the top. Which I don't really know if that's like counterintuitive or if that even works. Oh, I'm, I, that's probably my fault. This game is pretty much over. Dontavion Wicks. Gets a couple extra yards there. I say we keep running this ball and potentially put another touchdown on the board. What do you guys think? Suppose if we run the ball again, halfback power G. Can we run the ball this way? We can't. What about a play action boot here to Luke Musgrave? Can we fool him? Oh man, they are like ready for it. Oh my God, Jordan Love. Scrambling. Might be able to put some points here on the board. Andreas Carlson puts it up, puts it through the uprights. We put up 41 fucking points. That deserves a like in and of itself, considering how how much we've had to, adversity we've had to deal with. Devontae Adams having a better stat line because of that big bomb. Before that, not a really a whole lot happening. They can't really do much. It's a three-step drop. I'm all up in the A-gap. They have to get rid of it quickly. I mean, you keep 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 doing it. Keep nickel and diming. You're not going to be able to make a big, a big play if you keep having to throw the ball quickly. I'm going to get a sack eventually. Jair, uh, I actually switched on to him. I'm up the middle. Get there, Devondre Campbell. Wrap him up, Rudy. Keep him in bounds. And that is going to do it here in Las Vegas. Mike Hunt getting his second win on the season. But what a win by your Green Bay Packers. Forcing three turnovers was the goal. We did that and then some. Two and three on the season. Uh, I don't know who won or lost the last matchups. Let's look at the box score real quick. Jordan Love. 
75 yards. Got to love it. One interception. Got to love it. Aaron Jones, five per carry, 150 yards damn near. Jordan Love scrambling for 100 rushing yards. Sack-wise, couple sacks. Our offensive line isn't great, but you know what? It played really well today. A lot of tackles for loss. A ton. Two sacks. Three interceptions. Two for Rasul Douglas. Discuss the bye week with the team. Coach, being in last place, heading into the bye means it's time. This can be crucial to figure out how to right the ship. Any special plans? Let's go ahead and stay grinding, right? Down goes the stamina, but up goes the XP. I don't really give a shit about what he's saying. Minus seven for all players, stamina for the upcoming week. That's fine. We don't give a shit. We're playing a mile high anyway. Look at players to negotiate. Can we try to figure out a deal and hash something out with Rashawn Gary? I'll go ahead and offer him 11 for eight. See what he says here. That's a good offer. Glad he got a deal done. With, so we we Rashawn, we re-sign our best defensive player. Our, let's, our best young defensive player. Jair's still pretty young. Uh, everyone else I'm going to wait on, though. Darnell Savage has played like shit so far in the season. Got cooked by Juwan Johnson. As the trade deadline is week eight, I don't think I'm going to end up shipping off A.J. Dillon. Although he is in the last year of his contract, I just like having him on the team. Tyler Goodson's not great. We might be able to get something for, for A.J. Dillon, though. It would be a rental, to be fair. Big upgrades. Kenny Clark, who's played extremely well through this season. He is the main reason why our run stopping is so uh, effective. Uh, I'm going to upgrade him as a power rusher. He's going to go up two power moves and one strength, which is huge. That's a giant upgrade as a 27-year-old, 95 strength, playing down morale-wise because of, you know, everyone being tired and whatnot. going to upgrade him as a, probably as a, as a deep threat because that's kind of where he's going to play Jaden Reed more in the slot and three deep route running, one release is pretty big, actually, for a player that could stand to develop quite a bit. Royce Newman, he does not get an overall upgrade, but hopefully gets a little bit of upgrading to the stats we need him to. Bo Melton, going to be the last one I upgrade here. Uh, what a beast Bo Melton is. Playmaker is, is the move for sure. We're using him on kick returns, punt returns. Two ball carry vision, one catch in traffic, and uh, two spin moves, a couple route runnings as well. And that is going to be it. For week five, week six, destroy the Raiders. Gotta love it. And we take on the Broncos in mile high for the next one. Expecting heavy rain. Take it easy.